objective physical geology multiple choice questions with answers these are the collection from various previous years question papers and hope useful for various competitive exams like csr net gate gsi civil services exam ongc and other exams welcome to set 11 first question uh, plate motions are recognized by this was the question asked in civil services 1989 uh, a relative motion to one another b their motions with respect to fixed positions c their motions with respect to poles and d all of the above so generally plate motions are recognized by their motions with respect to the poles so the correct answer is c next question the competency of a stream means so what is the competency of a river or stream so choices are a its ability to carry huge boulders b its ability to carry large amounts of load and c its ability to ca cause widespread erosion and d none of this so competency is nothing but its ability to carry huge amount of the load so b is the correct answer next question flat topped sea mounds are known as so it's a very simple question a submarine volcanoes b guyots c groyons and d terraces so correct answer is guyots guyots are known as the flat topped sea mounds whereas the other choices groyons groyons means these are the shore protection structures which are built uh, perpendicular to the shoreline of the coast whereas the terraces it is a geomorphic feature so the correct answer is guyots b next question which of the following is the best method for determining the age of the rocks a paleomagnetic evidences b structural features of the rocks c radioactive methods d seismic refraction profiling so generally so the best method is the radioactive method so c is the correct answer next question the approximate density of the earth so this is also a very simple question a 5.5 b 5.8 c 5.1 and d 5.2 so the approximate average density of the earth is 5.5 a is the correct Next question. The past geological processes can be explained by the processes taking place presently by A. Wegener's concept, B. Charles Lyell's theory, C. Uniformitarianism, and D. Law of final succession. So, according to the uh, law of uniformitarianism, present is key to the past. So, that's why C is the correct answer. Next question. Raya Coast is a A. A faulting scarp along the coast, B. A topographic high near the coast. C a submerged fjord and uh, D a coastline running parallel to the adjacent island. So Ria coast is a, a faulting scarp along the coast. It's a coastline having a several parallel ridges separated uh, by a prominent ridges extending uh, a distance inland. So uh, A is the correct answer. Next question. Which of the following is a freshwater lake? Choices are A. Ular, B. Chilka, C. Pulikat, D. Pachpadra. The correct answer is Ular. Ular is a freshwater lake, whereas the Chilka it is a brackish water lake, and Pulikot it is a second uh, largest uh, brackish water lagoon. And uh, if you take Pachpadra, this is a salt water lake in Rajasthan. So A is the correct answer. Next question. The age of the oldest sea floor is about A 100 million years, B 200 million years, and C 300 million years and for 50 million years so the correct answer is b 200 million years so the age of the oldest sea floor it is only about 200 million years next question according to the theory of plate tectonics a mid oceanic ridges mark the boundaries of the plate b mid oceanic ridges and continental mountain chains mark the boundaries of the plates c island arcs and mountain chains form the boundaries of plates D. Mid oceanic ridges, island arcs, trenches, and mountain chains mark the boundaries of the plates. So, the correct answer is D. Mid oceanic ridges, island arcs, trenches, and mountain chains they mark the boundaries of the plates. Next question The portion of the geosyncline where thick, poorly sorted sediments are generally associated with volcanics are found are known as A. U geosynclines, B. Myogeosynclines, C. Jugogeosynclines, and D. Taphrogeosyncline. So, here the correct answer is U geosyncline. So, coming to what is a myogeosyncline? Myogeosyncline is a, uh, it is also a geosyncline with uh, absence of a volcanics. Whereas, if you take jugogeosyncline, uh, these are also known as yokud basins or ovate basins. So, are linear areas of subsidence in craton areas. 
whereas if you take uh, taphrogeous reclines so these are riftogenic basins of continental origin and are bounded by faults on both sides so uh, the correct answer is a eugeous inclines so these are the portion of the geos inclines where you can see the thick poorly sorted sediments which are generally associated with volcanics so a is the correct answer next question earthquakes originate beneath island arcs at great depths which of the following statements is correct a island arcs are found not far from the continent b earthquake zones have a steep dip beyond the arcs towards the trenches c earthquakes originating along the island arcs have a deep fossae and the all of the above so all the three are correct like uh, suppose if the earthquakes originate beneath the island arcs at great depths and island arcs are found not far from the continent this is true and earthquake zones have a steep dip beyond the arcs towards the trenches this is also true and earthquakes originating along the island arcs have a deep fossae so all of the above are correct so d is the correct answer next question andesite is a typical volcanic arc of the island arcs because it is a it is formed uh, from a predominantly acidic magmas it is formed b it is formed by the partial mixing of the oceanic and continental crust c it is generated by the collision of two oceanic plates and d none of the above so the correct answer is uh, it uh, b it is formed by the partial mixing of, mixing of the oceanic and continental crust next question bajida is a a series of uh, coalescing alluvial fans formed at the uh, pigment slopes b flat topped hills formed by fluvial erosion and c a shallow basin surrounded by mountains from all the sides and d none of the above so bajada is nothing but it is a series of coalescing alluvial fans formed at the pigment slopes next question sets of landforms which indicate fall in the sea level are a wave cut benches beaches ridges b sea caves estuaries lagoons c flood plains extensive beaches alluvial fans d none of the above so the correct answer is uh, b sea caves estuaries and lagoons they indicate the fall in the sea level these are the type of uh, sets of landforms they indicate the fall in the sea level b is the correct answer next question geological work of ground water results in one corrosion b uh, two abrasion three cementation so out of this uh, we had to uh, choose the correct answer like a one only b one and two only c one and three only and d 1 2 and 3 so geological work of ground water results from uh, or it results due to corrosion and abrasion so 1 and 2 only so b is the correct answer next question radial drainage pattern is found in a volcanoes b hard rock areas c uplifted areas d glaciers so generally radial uh, drainage pattern is found in the volcanoes next question the drainage pattern produced by parallel faulting and alternate beds of resistant and non resistant rocks is a trellis b parallel c radial d dendritic so the correct answer is uh, a trellis so generally uh, parallel drainage pattern it is formed where there is a pronounced slope at the surface whereas if you take the dra radial drainage it is a characteristic of the domal uplifts uh, that means in the case of the domes and also slopes of the volcanoes whereas a dendritic drainage pattern it is a characteristic of homogeneous rock surfaces which is of uniform resistance and also due to the lack of structural control so the correct answer is a trellis this is formed by uh, parallel uh, faulting and alternate beds of uh, resistant and non resistant rocks a is the correct answer next question the most appropriate term for a ridge dipping gently on one side and steeply on the others a hogback b mesa c butte d cuesta so the correct answer is equiesta so if you take the butte these are the isolated masses without the flat tops whereas if you take mesas these are the flat topped hills formed by fluvial erosion and hogback it is an erosional ridge with a long gentle slope on one side and a steep slope on other side so the out of these choices uh, d is the correct answer next question the lakes formed in the cut off meanders are called a kyles b playas c oxbow lakes d tarns so the correct answer is c oxbow lakes suppose if we take uh, kyles kyles these are the shallow sea inlets or lagoons uh, kerala lagoon lakes uh, these are also known as kerala lagoon lakes and uh, if you take the playas playas means these are the depressions in the desert areas or desert basins so the correct answer is c oxbow lakes see you in the next video